Hi all, welcome to another episode of Saturday Architecture. We have Deepak and Vamsi. We thought it's been, it's going to be pretty soon two years since ChatGPT, OpenAI has come. So why don't we all take a look at where we stand? So let's just start with the first uh, question. Um, everything follows the hype and reality circles. So cycle. So is it hype or is it reality? Deepak and Vamsi, whoever wants to go first. So let me go first and Vamsi here. Okay. He chose the topic and he gave the last word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I, I, I think, so if you go by the hype side, right? So there's always a freeze type and then you are plug in there. Now, we show the hype side. So there's not initial hype of the site. The week. The, perhaps, there's a, then there is a upswing of promises. Maybe there's the stable nature of. So I think we are somewhere near the top right side. That is my reading of, of this cycle. And it is very soon likely that people may start getting this engine down what you can do, cannot do. But you know, we are just coming into that. And since I think a lot of the people mm -hmm. who are adopting these things, there's, there's a, I would say, a large number of people say, oh yeah, so what? Right? It's like, it's, it's come to all this idea, like, like, like a better way or help me grow something, which yeah, I think, so what? It's come, thank you for hearing this, this one, so what? And then my opinion is we are coming to the, Service lightning so called disillusioned there to really, yeah, stick close the peak. Say you are going in like uh, down sliding. It is a possibility that people will start to see it slide down because I've seen it more and more slide. So, a couple of years ago, they will slide around it. But then, something very comes like one day, but he has stayed up here, he has back here. So, there is. That is my view that we are somewhere closer to the peak where we will start to this. this. But this will just be come the productivity down there, come the ground, start accepting the GPT, the genetic AIs, as that normal things like using large power Excel, so yeah, GPT calls. That's not tough. That's where we are. Okay, thanks, Deepak. Vamsi, you're on mute. Am I good? No? Yeah. First and foremost, many more happy returns of the day, Gen AI. Particularly uh, <laughs> Chat GPT is not Gen AI. Second year, you, you are budding, you are, you are a toddler still, okay? <laughs> not only me, my agent, my bunny agent, <laughs> him, he also gives his wishes. <laughs> Funny things aside, yes, absolutely. I agree with Deepak in general on the overall uh, hype. The thing with hype, just like recession is, we usually don't know when we are in it. We will realize when we look back after it is over. And sometimes it will be, it will look surreal. It will look, but we are living in the moment. If you, if you think about it, just like COVID experience for most of us, which we heard about Spanish flu, I, I know, like comparing it with negative thing, like, like a pandemic is not the right thing, but. It is nothing like, you know, if somebody is now uh, going to be there, if we tell them that, hey, we experienced something like COVID or we experienced something like internet in its nascent days or any anything else that we've seen, social media and mobile, it's very difficult for them to understand, but we are going through it firsthand. We are experiencing it. So it's very surreal, it feels. Now, pure numbers, right? So economies, I'm a big believer in the economic theory. The just numbers will speak for themselves. It was $22.5 billion is a 2023 AI, open AI or gen AI investments in the world. Now, if you look back before 2020, it was barely uh, a percentage of it. It is uh, five times, sorry, 20, 22 times lesser than that. So we were hovering around one to two billion 
or in some cases at most three billion dollars investment by any company every every enterprise on the ai now it is everywhere right whatever we were doing with all these document scanning open nlp and other packages that we were using for data conversion it went on steroids with the gen ai and and if you look at stock uh, value enterprise value of companies like nvidia uh, that speaks for themselves so we we are whether we are in hype or not it's very difficult for us to determine exactly but we know for a fact that it drew a major excitement around the enterprises this the people started looking into their problems through the ai lens and and they were they were in the process of solving some of them like anything any technology it feels uh, very slow when we look at when we look at in the terms of weeks and months when we when we look at uh, in years and decades we will see a tremendous progress has been made like if you look at apple iphone 15 16 max this is nowhere compar- comparable with uh, the iphone that got released original iphone that got released in 2007 right so that's the best example right? we have many more many several uh, thousands times more powerful system we have in hand compared to what got released in 2007 same way if you look back about where we are now 10 years from now or 8 years from now we will have ai centric world and that is beyond doubt but can the hype uh, is the hype justifiable will all the use cases will all the excitement will all the schemes grand schemes that investors were promised that hey you can replace my entire call center support center with uh, ai agents i doubt it won't happen will it make that hybrid model where ai becomes part of everyone's day to day experience 100% that that is inevitable nice point so amsi i what i see different compared to other technologies or all these close to three decades in software, right? We have that thing. I think there's one thing very unique about Gen AI, which none of the other technologies which I have seen so far has done, which is basically the technology got introduced both to the dev and the end users at the same time. That's true. Okay. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Okay. A concept, right? Probably something like an Excel or WordPro. But by the time I entered technology, Lotus 1, 2, 3 was already there. So I don't know what was the experience when Lotus 1, 2, 3 was first offered. But again, that doesn't fit this bill because Lotus 1, 2, 3 was a front end, right? There was no access to the developer. Okay. So I guess this is the first time which I can recall in technology where a technology is both available to the common man and to the technology folk. So I, what I think is the, na- the animal of Gen AI is a unique species. I can't connect to some other technology which had these attributes. So that way it is very difficult. The hype loop can be for anything in life, right? If we take it that way. So I don't even know whether to define it as a hype because this kind of a mass acceptance or suitability of a technology to a common man and to a developer has never happened. So is the widespread applicability hype? I don't think so. I think that they are two different things. Actually, and you, you made a... Sorry, Trent. You made a... Why is the Why? Why? Go ahead. So one interesting uh, thing when you talked about co- common man as well as as a uh, technologist and end users, everyone experiencing the chat GPT or, or generative AI at the same time. If you think about it, November 2022, end of November 2022 was when chat GPT was born, publicly released. And August 2023 was the very first Republican debate in American politics. Since we just completed US elections, it's very relevant in my view. This guy, uh, an Indian origin guy by name Vivek Ramaswamy, you might have heard of his name. He participated participated in that in that debate, and Chris Christie, the one of the candidates in the Republican primary, he made the comment. This is in August 2023. He just talks like ChatGPT, right? So you're talking about 
a mainstream politician using that phrase chat gpt in a nationwide telecasted debate live debate just 8 plus 1 9 months since release it i don't think it ever happened correct so i want yeah, to amplify your point that's a that's actually a great point right so i think hype or not i'm not able to connect it to that pattern to validate or invalid and but um, I, I think I think probably one one reason why this is so widely popular. What this point that even a mainstream politician is talking, right? The reason is actually is people in the language they they are able to communicate. They are able to play the way. This is like a person. It's not a person. This is like a person. I can interact with this person in that land, which was a barrier or any other technology so far. It has broken that barrier of, of natural language communication, which is the reason I believe it is for us. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's a great point because when I think about an, an, an natural language processing, we all seen Alexa and we all seen these smart devices. Siri. Home Siri, it's a very very popular one. I'm sure I'm sure every other major technology company had a a variant of it. Assistants doing that, but nothing came. The end of the day, the use of a technology has two aspects of it. One is the ease of use, right? Is it is a barrier? Is it is it something anybody can interact with it easily, right? Why internet browser was so popular, or, or email like Hotmail in those days, or Gmail later became so popular was people were using fine text-based email compared to compared to whatever we got with 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 these uh, browser-based browser-based email systems, right? Now uh, ease of use is a is a strongest uh, uh, opener for anybody to use, and the second one is accuracy, right? So if you think of the other technologies, which are AI related or not, the amount of the chances that something comes out is correct or not, if you determine, ChatGPT has higher rate for most of the common questions. Yes, if you throw in a complex problem, you have, you have billion objects to be sorted and then you have to move it into a coding problem if you give. Uh, it may do a decent job, but you may want to have more scrutiny in, 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 in reviewing it. But if you really want to take a message and push it through a co-pilot like Microsoft Copilot and want to make it better with a persona, it does excellent job, right? It does better than you have, as if I have an English tutor next to me and coaching me and then making my messages better every single time I want to type something. And that was never the case. Right. I use it all the time. I encourage my teams to use it all the time, but particularly when it comes to executive messaging. I want to have another view, right? Hey, always, I, I use it in unique ways, right? Hey, this messaging, I, I'm being, uh, you know, technologist, 50% uh, of my time is in technology and 50% is managing up and managing sideways and managing down. So when I look at my messaging, communication is key part of it. And I'm not a native English speaker, so I, I always have my blind spots. I use this uh, technology in various ways to fine tune my messaging. I use, I play with personas. I play with how does this get perceived and give me some feedback. I use it like, as if I have a buddy next to me, giving me ideas how my messaging could be better. And I'm benefiting from it every single minute. Yeah, as you're telling this, right? Yeah, I, it struck me another thing, right? Even though we are using this metaphor of hype, and reality kind of a thing, right? That exists in a certain world where there is technology and technology is introduced. And it is something like, you know, the story of water driving factories and then electricity came and how it changed, right? So this is something like this. It's a whole new world that is created. It will be fitting, trying to fit the technology world's high loop thing in this new world. Okay, so it is like, it's there, it's prevalent, and then it will go up. So it doesn't, no, within the Gen AI or AI world, you will have hype loops. 
Yeah. But this itself is a different world itself, right? There will be a different kind of a loop over there. And that we have already seen. I think then it will be like, is this model good or bad? Is this IDE good or bad? Okay, so people will say, oh, this model will do everything. And then it will go off and then come up like that, right? Or rag, multi edge kind of stuff. Right? Or everything we are working may be thrown away and something else will become more popular. For example, right, in the in the... In, in in the world of electricity, DC current was very popular, right? Edison ah. created the industry of DC current and where he's, he imagined the entire Manhattan, which, which is where uh, current uh, uh, power was actually distributed. He imagined for every uh, 10 blocks or so having a generator which generates the DC current and distributes for those homes because given the nature of the technology, DC current can only go so much far before it it drops in 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 the voltage right now and obviously it's very dangerous right? people get electrocuted electro, electrocuted right now uh tesla nikola tesla came in with the alternative current that is the current we use most of the time for most of the distribution uh, maybe at the edge it will get stepped down and stepped up right so if you consider is generative ai that the ac current of general AI that was there all along that or is generative AI, the, the form and shape, the, the one we are experiencing is the DC current and there is something like AC current <laughs> to come in the future. Hard to predict, but I am very open for that uh, possibility. I think that's See, a good thing. I, 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 now there are a lot of patient to deal with the AI, things which dedicated systems are very good at like simple that's problems which the AI gets wrong right sometimes it cannot add or it cannot count properly right so see examples of then each of itself is wrong the things right so can this give the post that it's not very reliable so they all with that well no matter what it's like the generating technology then it can be and that is that we have not yet promised that how very say don't worry about using it, use it fine. Right now, everybody is saying be cautious, it can be wrong, you can lose it, all kinds of things. So it is not in that sense, although it has become meaning street, people still are advised was different. So we have not crossed that stage that it is a reliable whole in general sense, you know, hundred for hundred years, not an issue. Not yet come to that stage. So the technology is really one. That's true. And I think hype versus popular are two different things, right? To me, when we use the hype, it is more like there is no reality, but people are thinking about it. But in this experientially, I personally believe there is a lot of value in it. Now, how you use it is a different thing. Right? Sometimes I would make use it. Other than hype uh, is being yeah, so I think definitely there is excitement, definitely there is merit and how we are going to use it is going to be. But I think probably what I observe is the accelerated curve, what it could be, it is not. Let me put it that way. What all could have been, it is not. Considering its merit and potential because it's hard for people to digest and phantom and Especially people in the engineering world who want a deterministic solution, right? We just don't know how to handle probabilistic. Okay. We just be comfortable with this way. Say, actually, it is not the like engineers who are finding it's the people who actually understand the good work in gray areas. They are very well. The engineers who have a problem, like I'm updating about math problems and things like that. So. Other people understand that this is very unreliable and they understand it's heavy. I'm not saying that they understand it because somebody told them to trust it, but they, they don't trust it. It's so, so by the way, since this closer to reality, in that sense, people are not just making it like. I, okay, so I, actually, I was telling the same thing. I'm saying. Engineers have a problem developing Gen A solutions because we have a deterministic mindset. And that is one of the reasons we don't know how to 
deliver this technology in a sense to how people can consume it. So it's the tech or the engineering which is actually holding it back. We do not know how to package it, how to deliver it, how to build the safeguards around that. We don't have that maturity because 30, 40 years of software development has been determinist. So it's like we learn to learn something up to actually deliver that value. We will let Bunny make the closing remarks. <laughs> mute, mute. You're on mute. So, okay. From Bunny's standpoint, it's very simple, right? So all of that is true and none of it is. It, it is because... Um, technology as it is has has a limited shelf life and we've seen it right any technology gets obsolete improved powered gets on steroids transforms that's nature of a technology and when it comes to use cases when it comes to applying it in the in the manner that that furthers the humanity right the use cases have to be have to be curated and more than anything for for ai particularly for ML, AI, where something has to be trained, data comes into the forefront. So if, if you look at, there are only two reasons why typical AI projects can go one way or other. It is not having strong foundational data. That is one of the primary reasons. Or two, not understanding the user experience better. Right In between, as a technology, those kinks, those fine-tunings and the making, making the models better, more customized. That is an ongoing journey. It is like a SDLC process. Uh, yes, we, we have MLOps and we have to have different deployment methods and we need to have different experimentation. All that is as part of the, that's, that's a minor learning in my view. That, that I think any capable engineering team can do and our teams are also doing in, in, in the areas that I have exposure. But those two other ends, like one is the data that gets trained, that trains these models and how good and how well managed it is and the other end of the spectrum is how well we are taking care of the user experience best technologies need not succeed if you if you think about it right we have vitamax maybe better than yeah. vhx right but it's used only in studios it used to be used only in studios that right. Right. i think i'm giving you uh, the... 1970s 80s example sorry i I'm not that old <laughs> I it was more like most of the intelligent called Beta Max. Oh yeah, yeah, what Beta Max? Oh, it just like it's, I uh, I remember like was yeah. up maybe like Abhika, Korean, it's, it's, Korean pop, like maybe Korean pop. Sorry, uh, I was in Abu Dhabi. I was in my third standard when we actually went to a shop and had a discussion between Beta and uh, VHS, and we finally chose uh, chose VHS, right? Smart. Whether this or that, Smart. yeah. And, and for whatever reason, right? Because there, it, it was even more interesting. We used to get movies, right? Local movies. Yeah. So what actually one of the tilting factors was VHS had more movies than beta. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, at that time. So that kind of shifted us to this. But a recent, remember, recent example was the Blu-ray versus uh, HD. Uh, yeah, Blu-ray right? HD, correct. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. It I, was, I, I, I learned. I learned. Yeah, well, I lent this funny note. One of my roommates, when I was still a bachelor, around the time when the when the industry completely moved on to Blu-ray, decided okay, HD will be stopped. Basically, studios stopped producing those those titles in HD DVD. Naturally, the support for the format fell down. But this guy went to a store, and he brought like almost hundreds of uh, on sale. HD DVD titles, right? And he had like collection of almost 100. He, he almost got like, he went to flea market or somewhere and got like a dollar each, right? Great deal. And I got a bunch of, when Blockbuster was closing, a shutdown, I went and brought a bunch of Blu-ray titles and I was laughing at him saying that, hey, this is the technology that stands. Like, you know what happened? We both were proven what? wrong. It's the streaming, that? right? No way. <laughs> I have no use for a, a regular player. Everything is streaming, right? So, anyway, I want to, me and my bunny, we want to take bunny, we want to say bye. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for joining. We will connect uh, again next time. Thank you. Great, great discussion.